Hi, everybody. My name is Stephen Cheng, and I'm a product manager at Miro, and I'm here to show you the power of bringing Miro and Jira together. Um, I'm going to walk through a couple different flows here just to show you a couple different use cases. And the first one I'll start with is when teams are brainstorming in Miro and they want to bring that information and those insights and send them directly to Jira. Um, imagine you're working with your team on a board, capturing some bugs uh, directly on a Miro board, and you've identified a couple bugs that you want to work on. Maybe there's something wrong with the text input or whatnot, and you've collected a set of different uh, bugs that you want to bring into Jira directly. As a, as a team, you can easily select these sticky notes and quickly click a Jira button here that will open up a modal, and I can actually choose the specific JIRA inputs of my JIRA issues. I could choose the issue type, for example. I can add descriptions to this, choose assignees, et cetera. And once I actually click Convert, this will send these issues directly over into JIRA. And if you give it a moment, you'll see that now these sticky notes have turned into JIRA issues, and these are now bidirectionally synced uh, both in Miro and in JIRA itself. Um, so this showcases the power of leveraging Miro's infinite canvas to brainstorm, capture ideas that are early, identify things that your teams are collaborating on, and then with a couple clicks, sending that information directly into Jira. Another workflow that would be really helpful for teams is to have uh, a canvas here to be able to uh, collaborate with team with your teammates and do different tasks together. An example of that would be estimating story points for your issues. So to do this, you can actually open up the JIRA integration on the left-hand side, and this will bring up a modal for you to select different JIRA issues. Um, you can search for specific text, but you can also leverage our advanced search, which will directly tap into any JIRA filters that you have saved in JIRA. So if I actually open this uh, little dropdown, I can choose uh, a preset filter that I have. And then all I have to do is select them all and click add directly into Miro. Um, and you can, once the cards are in Miro, you can move them around. You can uh, visualize them however you want. But in this case, I'm going to put them into what we call a Kanban board, where I've got a column where these things need to be groomed. And what I can quickly do is actually start an estimation session directly here. Um, so if I start a new session, I can actually choose the window that I want to use for the uh, items that I want to estimate. And here I can say, I want to estimate four cards, and this will kick off a collaborative session with my teammates that are all on the board with me, and we can go through and estimate each of these individual cards. Um, for the sake of the demo, I'm not going to go through each of those steps, but imagine that afterwards we've got an estimate on each of these, and I can now work with them however I want directly in Miro. Similar concept as earlier, these items are all bidirectionally synced, so if I update something in Miro, it automatically gets updated in Jira and vice versa. The last thing I wanted to quickly show is the power of Miro's uh, flexible canvas is that I can actually visualize all the different JIRA issues in whatever way that I want. Um, it gives me freedom to name columns what I want. I can name rows as I want. And this allows me to communicate context for work that we're doing in, in ways that make sense for us. Um, we remove the rigidity and give teams flexibility to do that. So in this example here, I've brought in a bunch of JIRA issues that um, maybe I've segmented into different release plans. There's an MVP release scope, there's a V1 scope, and there's also a V2 scope. Um, and here, as a user, I can use this to quickly communicate my plans with stakeholders that maybe aren't in JIRA every day. Um, and it quickly highlights a couple of things for me. One is that I very quickly can understand what's in each scope and the status of each of these things. Because of our uh, JIRA integration, we can actually see the information directly on these cards. And I can open these cards if I want to actually edit the individual uh, fields that are related to this issue. Um, once I make a change in here, I can quickly update that information by hitting update. The other thing that um, I can do now is also be able to move these things visually and, and combine them with things that are not yet in JIRA. There might be ideas that we've been thinking about and planning in Mira, but we haven't yet converted that information into JIRA. And this allows us to put that information together into one place. There are some tasks that can be from Mira here, um, and then there's other tasks from the JIRA side. Um, so this allows teams to quickly bring that information 
um, into one consolidated place so that everyone has all the context that they need. So with those three quick uh, use cases, just as a recap, the first is about uh, collaborating and identifying things to be worked on and sending that information easily into JIRA. Um, the second piece is about doing collaborative agile practices directly in JIRA with your teammates, such as an estimation app and other experiences that teams need to do collaboratively together. And the last piece is around having the flexibility to visualize work in different ways in whatever way that you need to communicate clearly to your stakeholders. Um, and so, yeah, hopefully those three flows make sense and that you've seen a lot of interesting value here and that you've learned. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and uh, talk to you guys soon.